Well, hi there, Pluckers. Ivor Sawfinger again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson. It's Ivor Sawfinger here again. This is a song which I've had several requests for now, and it's a song called Jeremiah by a lady called Sierra Ferrell. I will put a link in the description box which takes you to a video of uh, this young lady playing her song. Okay, so um, I'm going to go through the intro, the first verse, the first chorus for you. And I'm going to tag the outro on the uh, end of the first chorus so you've got all the parts you need to play the song. The only issue I have with this song, well, the two issues I've got, first of all, is the fact that um, she never seems to play the song the same twice, so it's very hard to give you a definitive version. Uh, when I say this, uh, not the same, the, the, chord, the words are the same, the chords are the same, but the guitaring uh, fiddly bits, the intro and the bits between the verses, tend to be different every time she seems to play it okay so I can't give you a definite version so I, I'm going to have to just play something and then let you work on it okay if you don't like it you can mess around with it yourself okay so um, my singing and the other thing is the singing I have great difficulty singing this song um, so there's, a, there's a lot of words to fit in and uh, the timing of some of the words are quite tricky uh, for me so I might hum the verse, okay? <laughs> so uh, let's get to it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> And the promises you said that you do She's gonna push the shoes back in the shell She does it better than that you see She was sure to keep all the dust away You're like wine and you'll get sweet Okay, there's an, obviously there's another verse and another chorus, um, but uh, those are the main bits. So it's exactly the same verse to play and the same for the chorus. Okay, so um, I didn't want to kill you with my singing on that, so uh, left it alone. <laughs> so anyway, um, the introduction that I played uh, is just something I put together. It's, it's it's based on what she does, but it's not the same. Okay, so we're leading up to the C chord with the usual. <laughs> 3rd fret 6th string, open 5th string, 2nd on the 5th string to a C chord, ok? And then I'm just doing, playing that 3rd on the 5th, strum, hammer that open 4th to 2nd on the C, ok? Strum, so. And then I'm just going, what I'm doing there, while well, still playing the C, I'm, I'm playing the third string and then taking hammering into the second fret, and then open again, and then playing the fourth string and the third string together, and hammering into the second fret on the fourth string, and then hitting that C note again, something like that. Okay, so. Going to a D minor and I'm playing the o D, D open fourth string strum, then the A string, the fifth string open strum twice, and then I'm going okay. 
and that little riff is on the open fourth string to the second fret on the fourth string okay so da 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 second fret fourth string open fourth string third fret fifth string open fifth string so and then do the same again and then finally on the second time round you put the second fret of the fifth string to the third fret of the fifth string and back to the C chord so come back to the C it's you play that C note strum then play the third fret on the sixth string the bottom E string strum back to the C that so and then that okay so the whole intro Strumming pattern is the same all the way through the verse. Okay, it's it's bond. And when you get to the D minor, it's exactly the same sort of thing. You play the open fourth string, strum, A string, fifth string, strum, fourth string. Da, 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 da. Okay, got that? So let's go through that intro again now. Okay, so here we go. the same now so that's 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 the verse taken care of okay so the intro and the verse the verse is just C D minor and C and D minor again so let's just go for that verse again so it's uh, after you come out of the intro you're going singing's atrocious but you get the idea don't you now we go into the chorus a very straightforward chorus you and it goes uh comes out the verse right so it's f you forgot g about sweet sue c hammer and then that third note again on the fifth string so Okay. So 
You forgot about sweet Sue And the promises you said you do And she's gonna put you back on the shelf She does better by herself Okay, so that's straightforward, it's just F to G to C F to G to C, F to G to C, F to G to C, okay? And it's... So that's... Okay, got that. And the only other thing to show you really is the outro. So when you then after you've done that first verse and first chorus, you come out of the first chorus and you're going now. And then you can do another intro sort of thing. back into another verse okay then you go into another chorus and on the second chorus at the end of the chorus uh, I'll just do the second chorus you forgot it's the same as the first you forgot sweet soon and the promise says you say you do and she's gonna put you back on the shelf and she does She'll make sure to keep all the dust away. You like wine, you get sweeter with time. Okay, so that on the ending, so you come out of the chorus and you go in there. She does. But she'll they sort of slow it down a bit. But she'll make sure to keep. So that's D minor. But she'll make sure G to keep all the C dust. Again C away from A minor. You you'll like D minor wine. You'll get G sweeter with C time. And then a little riff to finish with. So just once more for good measure, I'll go for the last chorus and the outro, okay? So here we go. You forgot the bells we sing And the promises you said you do She got the tutor in the church you back on the shelf She does it better than You make sure to keep all the dust out of me. You like me, you get sweeter with time. Okay, and that final riff is basically a third on the U, and that's third on the fifth. Open fourth, first on the fourth, second on the fourth. Okay, so. Open third, second on the third, first on the second, C chord. So it's a get sweeter with time. Something like that. Or something, you know. Something close to that anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching this thing. I'm sorry that was a bit messy, uh, but uh, extremely hard for me to do that, the singing and the timing on it, on the verse, I can't get my head around, sorry, <laughs> but I did, I did my best. Thanks very much for watching this and I'll see you again in another lesson. Bye bye.